Hi and welcome to our channel Aqua Blue. In this video we drive to the Marathon Humps for a great day of fishing. We finally catch a tuna. Oh my God. And we get our first tuna in the Genoa. Oh, this feels a lot Nice. Join us for the excitement. Oh yeah, it is a tuna. <laughs> It's time to fish the marathon humps. Now, we have heard so many people talk about the humps off marathon being this amazing area in the Keys for fishing and that everyone catches tuna, swordfish, and all these other big game fish because of the topography on the bottom. The humps are at least 25 miles off of marathon. This can take a while to get to. We had already taken the boat to Marlin Bay Marina and Resort for the weekend, so we were a lot closer. I did a video on Marlin Bay Yacht Club in a previous video, so check that out if you're interested. We have had many near misses and close encounters in the past. Oh, we got a fish! But tuna have always got away. Oh, I just came off. Oh, shit. Yeah. It just came off. So close, but so far away. Halfway through the day, we came across a floating barrel and found some fish. It's a good sign if you see little fish on the surface. I jumped in the water to check it out. We discovered mahi were hanging out at about 20 to 40 feet down. Usually, once you get some bait in the water, it will attract them to the surface. Or dropping a jig down can work too. Even if there wasn't mahi, it is always fun to see the fish up close. It's nice to get out of the boat and into the water, especially if fishing is slow. Now the fish will stay with the floating barrel. So we got smart and were able to tie a line from the barrel to a cleat on the boat. That way we didn't have to worry about losing sight of it. We had some good fishing activity up to this point, but we still hadn't officially made it to the humps, so we kept driving. To clarify for those who aren't familiar, the humps are essentially underwater mountain ranges, or seamounts, that rise from the ocean floor so much that they can divert the Gulf Stream current. This attracts bait fish, which in turn draw larger pelagic fish, including marlin, sailfish, and sharks making the humps a premier fishing spot. 
finally we see a big group of birds diving. My son! Tuna jumping out of the water. You see it? They look like shiny shaped footballs coming out of the water when you see them. So Chris got a trolling rod set up. Then the rod goes off and we had a fish on. Do you want to keep the boat still oh running? Is he going to get off? Oh, I got it. Did we finally catch the two of them? Oh my gosh. Oh, this feels a lot better than a mahi. It's nice. Oh, maybe, it's, hopefully it's a big mahi. Yeah, we're still, we're No, still it's right a here. giant mahi, yeah. Yet. How far out are you? I don't know. We can hit neutral. Neutral? Yeah. I don't want to lose the bird. Oh Ooh, yeah, yeah, he's on there. We're gonna have to gap up. Oh no. Okay, when's he gonna be close? Oh, I hope it's I a tuna. Little, I think it's a little tuna. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it doesn't feel like a mahi. Okay. It feels like a little black fish. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Where's the gap? Oh, it's right there. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, it's a tuna. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> there they are. There's a whole school. Look down in the water. See him. Okay, I gotta put this down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him. Side of the boat. Yeah. Okay, I got the gap over here. Oh, here he comes. Where is he? Oh no, it's a king or something. Is it a tuna or a king? Is it a wahoo? <laughs> oh, cool. It's hard to tell. No, Mahi? I have no idea. Yeah, Mahi would have jumped. Oh, yeah, it is a tuna. Oh, my gosh. First black fin on the boat. That's awesome. Can you get him in? Don't lose him. Wow, that's a big one. It's not a black Yeah, yeah. They're, they're funny stripes. Look at that guy. This was awesome. Put him a we found lower. out that this was a skipjack tuna and a big skipjack tuna. We didn't eat him right away. That's a good one. He's big. <laughs> Never seen one that big in person. The gaff went in at a good spot, tuna. so it bled out, and we kept it on ice overnight and ate him the next day for dinner. Oh. <laughs> now I drink it. A great part of fishing is eating what you catch. It makes it taste that much more satisfying. We had some raw and seared some of it too.
teeny babies. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna have babies. Of course, our cat got to try some also. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this fishing adventure. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.